You realise how, I suppose, offensive and hypocritical it must seem to the millions of Europeans who've marched in order to have the upholding of international law and human rights validated by having a ceasefire in Gaza to hear a representative of the EU saying that your motivation in the Red Sea is because of an unacceptable violation of international law when the crimes people are witnessing on their TVs are the likes of which we have never seen. And EU authorities have not only not done anything, but have been openly declaring that they are prepared to ignore the outcomings of the International Court of Justice. Uh, so how is that upholding international law? And is the lives of people not more important than commerce? I think as well, there is a bit of a problem with talking about peace in Yemen when we have illegal acts being perpetrated by our so-called like-minded partners and three member states supporting them. And the EU has nothing to say about that. Clearly, you couldn't care less about peace in Yemen. If you're standing by and seeing civilians being bombed in Yemeni cities who've had nothing got to do with this. So I suppose my questions are quite targeted. Do you accept the claim by the Yemenis that they are only targeting Israeli uh, ships and those destined to part of the occupied Palestinian territories? And that they are doing that in order to exercise pressure on Israel, a pressure which the EU could have done economically, for example, by suspending the EU-Israel Association Agreement and taking other efforts. They also say that their actions will stop once humanitarian aid is allowed to get in and access the people of Palestine who desperately need it. Again, a situation upheld by international law. So would it not be more productive to engage in that diplomatically rather than using it as an excuse for more militarism in the area? Thank <laughs> you.